Hello, I'm Chrissy Seaton. You know, it is now the month of Elul on the Jewish calendar. And that began on um, the 20th of August and it continues through now until the 18th of September. The month of Elul has a special significance for the Jewish people and it also has relevance to us as Noahides. And I just want to explain a little bit about this special month. So it's a time of reflection, a time for us to take a stock take of perhaps our actions and behaviours in the past year and judge for ourselves if that has been just and right or were there things we could have improved upon? Uh, perhaps our behaviour may need some refining. And a look at how we can amend any shortcomings that we have discovered or are aware of. So during the month of Elul, it is said that God is especially close to us here on earth. It's as though uh, it is like a king walking in the field amongst the people, amongst the subjects of the king. So it's an especially good time for us to connect in a meaningful way with Hashem through prayer and through this process of examining our past year's performance. Because of this closeness that Hashem has provided for us during this month, we should stop and reflect and meditate and absorb that divine wonder of Hashem, his divineness, his creation, all that he does for us in our life. It's most important. So what should things should we perhaps examine? What, what are we looking at examining when we reflect back on our past year? Well, it could be things such as um, uh, any past sins that may or may not have been um, enthusiastically repented for. Have we repented truly for mistakes and errors that we have made in this past year? Perhaps there are pre-existing past sins in, in our early life that we haven't really come to terms with and spoke to God about. Then this is a good time to also do that. Also, it is a very important time for us as Noahides to learn to forgive. So if we are expecting Hashem to forgive us for our shortcomings this year, we most certainly should be examining our conscience and saying, do I need to ask anyone for forgiveness? Have um, I offended someone? Do I need them to forgive me? And likewise, do I need to forgive someone else? Because for us to truly be forgiven by Hashem for things, we need to have the quality of forgiveness ourselves towards others. So that's a very important thing to think about. You know, there could be negative things such as maybe our ego is outgrowing our capabilities. Perhaps... Uh, it might be vanity, could be lush and horror, that's speaking evil. We might have told some untruths, um, could have been prone to bitterness and anger, been impatient with others that we shouldn't have been. Have we been lazy and neglectful in our duties to the rest of mankind, to our neighbours, to our family, to Hashem? Or oh, have we been unkind and uncharitable in our actions and behaviour? And each one of us will have a list of our own. But we also need, on the other side of the coin, to look at the positive things that we have achieved. Have we improved upon ourselves in certain areas? And that could be increased awareness of God, 
um, and his divine providence. It could be recognising and thanking Hashem more regularly. It may be that our prayer is more regular and devout. Um, we might be studying Torah, doing some sort of a study course or simply reading books that are appropriate for Noahides to read and study. It could be kindness to animals. It could be um, that we have uh, truly done something in our community or been involved with something that has been a benefit to our community, towards people who live in our community or worthy causes that require attention within our community. These are all things that could have been um, happening in the last year. So it's not all always about the negative, although we must look at that with a truthful heart and, and with our eyes open regarding our own part in that. But also it is a time of just that general reflection of how am I doing judging myself because we are going to be judged and it will depend on our behavior and reflection and how we've handled our past year as to what sort of a year we will be dealt by Hashem for next year. So this month of Elul is important in reflection, contemplation, uh, true, true, sincere repentance and as I said, it's that general stock take. What, have I, what did I do and achieve? Could I have done better? Could I have improved? What am I going to do next year? Am I going to embark upon this? Or what, what sort of a program am I going to set my mind to for next year? So now is that time to reach out to Hashem. He's in the field. He's wa walking through, waiting to meet and greet us. So that sincere rep uh, repentance, sincere prayer, and most of all, charity. This is the time to think of others who may be less fortunate than us and make this month of all a really good month for you and for those around you, especially your family and your community. Please take care and God bless.